Hey, what's up y'all? Shanti here. I am at a different location today. My usual spot is undergoing a little change. So I wanted to check in about my shoulder rotator cuff surgery. All right, so last week I was about, I think six days post-surgery. I'm shooting this video and I am 14 days post-surgery and I wanted to kind of tell you guys some of the stuff that I've been doing to keep myself healthy, how I've been eating, and some of the ways that I've been recovering in kind of a really fun way, if you will. So I'll start with my nutrition and then I'll go to something super fun. So with my nutrition, um, I started eating um, waking up in the morning, eating oatmeal, which I usually intermittent fast, but I wake up in the morning and I've been eating because what I realized is from being constipated from those meds, it just took a crazy toll on my digestive system and I hated it. When I tell you I hated it, I hated it. So then I really started adding a lot more fiber. Um, so I've been eating oatmeal in the morning with some raisins um, and some granola. And then what I do is I set my alarm on my phone, my timer on my phone for three hours and five minutes. And every three hours I eat. So then my second meal would be mostly protein heavy. And then my third meal would have a little bit more carbs. I would add um, some beans, just things that like, and obviously some vegetables that really get my body <laughs> moving in the way I want. And it really worked. So that's been really fun. My mental health has been really great. I think that just kind of like really stressing about the lead up to surgery was so heavy that I'm trying to not overstress. I have been riding the bike every day. I've been able to get on a bike and I've been up in the intensity. I've been turning uh, the resistance and I've been able to climb. If you know anything about cycling, I've been able to, to come out of the saddle. I wouldn't recommend anybody, anybody doing that. I've just been doing this for a while, so I know what I'm doing. Uh, so I've been burning some more calories and I've up my time to from 45 to 60 minutes each day. Am I working out the way I really want to? Not necessarily, but I'm doing the best that I can do. All right, I'm going to talk about physical therapy. So for those of you who have, um, will be getting a rotator cuff surgery, my first day of physical therapy wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. It was actually really good. Um, I'll show you a couple exercises that I did. One of the exercises that I had to do, I'll do it with this arm because this hand, is I had to hold onto a table, kind of uh, lean over and just rock my hips. So my hand would sway like this. And then I would rock my hips forward and back. So my hand would sway like this. And what that's doing is that's helping me move some of that stuff around um, because it was sutured together. So instead of doing an active movement, it's all like passive movement. So I would do, a lateral, forward and back, and then I would swing my hips around and do clockwise and then counterclockwise 30 times. Did that a couple times. It actually started with my PT. He, uh, I just laid on my back and he was just kind of moving my arm around for like 25 minutes. It was kind of relaxing. So it didn't hurt much at all. And then I did some ice and electric stim for 15 minutes. So it was pretty easy. Um, it is a little sore today because that happened yesterday. So it's just kind of something you would, you're going to look forward to. I guess you have to look forward to when it comes to your shoulder. I mean, I've been like lifting stuff like my phone. Um, I may have to hold some shoes in that hand as I'm walking around. As long as my arm stays in this position, it's pretty good. And I'm able to let my arm out and let it hang every once in a while. I'm now able to shower by myself. Sometimes put on lotion. It's a little hard to put on a sweatshirt and a t-shirt, but a tank top is easy because it's the holes are open. So uh, physical therapy, it's really cool because it starts the, mo the that small motion of movement and it allows you to like obviously have bigger ranges of motion. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that's gonna go. All right, something really cool that I've done uh, that I did before I had surgery and I did every single day, Monday through Friday of last week and Monday through Wednesday of this week, nine sessions of the hyperbaric chamber. It's called an h -bot. Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you the other thing that I'm doing to heal my shoulder. 
I'm here at this incredible place and I'm gonna go into this incredible machine. Look at that. I'm gonna tell you all about it. But let me just tell you, you go in there and you feel like you're going up in the airplane and there's the people who are really nice. You feel like you're going up in an airplane and you get all this oxygen. It's called the HBOT machine. It's really good for you, but I'm gonna give you all the details in a second. So in the HBOT, what I do is I go in, I have to strip down everything and put on a hospital gown and some sweatpants that they provide you. I'm a big baby, but you know what? My friend Lori here, who runs the Scottsdale Hyperbaric Center, she's a mom, so she understands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> about ready to go in. Thank you. For me to have to elevate me because I'm not allowed to lay flat on my back yet, even just doing that, I can feel that. Uh, so they elevate me and then I had to put a towel under my arm to keep that space there. I don't have to have the pillow anymore, as you see, it's gone. Uh, then something to prop up my arm, but they push you inside and they close the door and they basically take me under water. So you go, I don't know how many feet, I go, I should have asked, but they take you down. So they turn on the machine, they, you have your oxygen mask on, and then your ears start to pop as if you like were deep diving. And then they're watching you the entire time and, you're, and the oxygen is going in and your ears are popping, you gotta yawn, you gotta swallow. Sometimes they give you a mint that you can chew on and suck on so that you can keep swallowing, but sometimes you have to, like kind of in an airplane or, you know, if your ears start to pop, you have to close your nose and blow it, pops your ears. That's the only uncomfortable part. Then once you hit your altitude, if you will, they turn on a Netflix show, and you're in there for about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes, and then they bring you back to surface. You get pure oxygen. The other thing is, they told me, it obviously helps with cell, cellular reconstruction, if you will, and that obviously helps your um, recovery and helps wherever you've gotten sewn back together and your muscles rejuvenate. There are a lot of people who go in there who have had, they say, mommy makeovers or, you know, they, you know, any kind of plastic surgery, you see a lot of different kind of people coming in there, people that had knee replacements. And so if you have a hyperbaric chamber or HBOT in your area, it is so worth it. This is so kind of side note. One of the things that it's done for me is it's, and I'll tell you what it did and then I'll tell you why I'm telling you that. So it's helped me have less anxiety. So when I first went in there for my first kind of consulta consultation and first session, the, the lady sat down and really talked to me extensively. You know, I talked about mental health, I talked about my physical health, all of these different things. And I told her that, you know, for a long time I suffered from PTSD and I suffered from anxiety. And she was like, you know, this really helps. So I did a bunch of um, sessions in January and then leading up to the surgery, they did a treatment and they did a certain um, altitude that helps with pre-surgery and then post-surgery. But one of the things that really happens, I realize that my anxiety isn't as strong. It is so wild. And when she initially told me that it helps with anxiety, I was like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna be breathing in some pure oxygen. And it did, and it is, it is so incredible, y'all. It's so incredible. And the reason why, I realize that is because we were driving back because Scott is being my chauffeur uh, we were driving back home and he was like you know we're paying a lot of money for this and are there any results like do you feel anything and I'm like well I don't necessarily feel anything in my arm because I've never had this kind of surgery and especially three things happened in my arm at one time so I can't really say to that but one of the things is my anxiety is not as intense it's like, oh, if I get stressed about something or if I'm anxious about something, it doesn't sit there for a long period of time. It doesn't make me lose sleep. And so that's been really great. So look into hyperbaric oxygen therapy. If, you know, don't take it from me, I'm not a doctor, but I would look into that if you suffer from anxiety. Um, other than that, 
I must be doing something good because my after my first physical therapy session, my physical therapist called my doctor and was like, wow, he's ahead. And I, that was 14 days post-surgery. So everything is going really good. I'm excited because I'm going to be going on a little vacation with my family. I got my, my sutures out and I have some antibiotics just in case it um, gets infected, but I can finally go swimming, which I'm not really gonna swim, I'm gonna soak. <laughs> Um, and then other than that, the only thing I've been doing is I've been icing every single night for anywhere from 45 to 75 minutes. I have this really cool machine that uh, you put ice in it and it, it the whole shoulder mechanism wraps around your shoulder. It is super cold and it's so much better than just sitting there with the ice bag because it also does compression. So it's really, really great. Um, hopefully in the next video, I'll show you guys exactly what that is. I've used two of them and this has been the second one that I have is really great. So I'll explain that in the next video. Anyway, I will keep you all posted on how I'm coming along and I hope you are all doing well wherever you are. And if you're somebody who's watching this and you are having shoulder surgery or have had shoulder surgery, you can uh, ask a question. There's somebody in the last video, I think they commented like, Sean, I wanna ask shoulder surgery or something like that. I'm also gonna do a couple more videos before I get to a bunch of the uh, questions that you guys have. So please ask questions. I'll try to do a Q&A at the end of my next video so that I answer your questions specifically. In addition to that, I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching.